In this video I'm going to show you how to use the Canon HV mini DV camcorders and when you go to borrow these from the circulation multimedia desk inside the case you will find that you're going to be given a power supply and the camcorder and attached to the camcorder is going to be the battery and I'll quickly show you how to release the battery. Slide on that right there and pull the battery out. So that is how the battery actually comes off. So if you wanted to use the power supply and not use a battery could plug the power supply right into this port right here and then that'll give you uh, it'll override the battery and power up the camcorder and also if you plug that in there and just leave the battery in place uh, it'll charge the battery up it take you know a couple hours to charge the battery if it's totally empty we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and show you how to eject and put the uh, tape in so you're going to slide back on that little device right here and open that up and you'll see that it's up and then you take your mini DV tape. You have a mini DV tape here. And with the holes facing that direction and the tape facing down, you slide the tape in like that and you close it by pinching right here. You don't want to pinch over there, you want to pinch right there. It goes in place, close it up, and your tape is in place now. So I'll go ahead and I'll show you how to turn the device on. You'll see here a little uh, green button here. And to push down that and you slide it left to turn it into camcorder mode. If you want it to play um, what's on the tape, push down and slide it over to the play mode. Actually, we'll go around the outside of here of the camcorder. On this side of the camcorder, you'll see there is a auto and a P. The auto is uh, a nice way of saying it's in idiot mode. Everything's set. You don't have to mess with any white balance and autofocus and uh, all that is taken care of. If you slide it to the P, uh, you'll have to make your aperture settings and you'll do the white balancing manually. So if you're into that stuff, you put it on P and you can do all your settings. But if you really don't understand that stuff, slide it over to auto and, and you'll be all set. Open this up here, it will be the monitor. See that right now we are in camcorder mode and you can see that it says um, in auto mode. It shows you that the battery is full and this little thing here with the little dot and the two lines is it's in a pause mode. The camcorder right now is in uh, high def. There's another viewfinder right inside there, so you could look inside there, and when you open this up, it does drain the battery a little bit faster, so if you're running out of battery life and you have an extra battery, you could close it up and look through this viewfinder here, and that might uh, save on the battery a little bit. So we're in uh, the camera mode, which is the camcorder mode. So open that back up. When you want to record, the record button is right here on the back, so I'm going to push down on that. You'll see up in here that a red dot has opened up, and the counter is moving forward so it is recording so when i press it again you'll see that it is in pause go ahead and do it again we'll get that to record for a second here uh, up here is the zoom uh, function so toggle it left or right right now i'm toggling it right and it's zooming in and out as i go left and right while recording some here up top is a a shoe so if you borrow one of our shotgun microphones it has a housing that has a shoe on it you slide it right in there and then on the other side you would plug up the microphone to that port right there port underneath there is the av so if you wanted to play what's on your tape to a tv you'd actually have to borrow that that cable from us you could borrow that and plug that up and plug that to your tv and you can go that route Back here is an HDMI uh, output. Port up here is the uh, Firewire, the, uh, the port to, um, if you record onto a tape and you want to get it off onto your computer, you would borrow that cable from us and hook up the Firewire there, which is a four pin port, and then go into your computer. If it's a Mac, it's going to be a six or a nine, or if you go into a PC, I believe the PCs have the six pin. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stop this right now. So I'm going to push down that button. Standby mode. So I'm going to go ahead and flip it over to the play. Now I have control. So you'll see rewind, fast forward, play, stop. So I can hit rewind there. And you'll see that it's rewinding. So I'll go ahead and hit play. And you'll see that it's playing now. So you can pause it stop it, fast forward, rewind. So let's go back to the camcorder mode. And I'm going to show you the where you, to get to the menu settings. So if you want to get to the menu settings, you press this function button. And you'll see that 
this popped up over here but I need to use this toggle to I'm going to go down on it and you'll see that I'm going down and scrolling through the settings here so when I get to menu I'm going to press down on that button and it's going to go into the menu settings so from here one of the things that you probably might want to adjust is actually if it's in high def or regular uh, format so I'm going to go down on that toggle button to where um, it says record in and setup so I am going to go right on the toggle so I kind of pushed right and it brought me into that HD standard HDV setting so I'm going to press down on the set button there and it's going to bring me into the various modes that I can go into so let's say I don't want to shoot in high def so I'm just going to toggle down and go into regular DV press down that button once slide down on the button again and press yes and now you'll see that I am a DV mode it also allows me to change the, uh, the rate of the speed the tape is so SP is 60 minutes and if you go to LP it's uh, 90 minutes I'll go ahead and go back to the function go down to the menu I'll press down on the little button there it brings me into that mode I'm gonna go down to the record mode press down again and here you can see I can change from long play to standard play and I'll just toggle down through some of these things here so that's uh, pretty much uh, our Canon camcorder.